out. All right, let's go ahead and knock it out, man. First off, first first thing to say is um, definitely congratulations, welcome home, and all that, man. Uh, what's it feel like to be back? Man, it feel good, you know what I'm saying, to be reunited with my family and with the block, you hear me? Yes, sir, yes, sir, man. Well, um, briefly, just give us a quick, you know, saying rundown of what it was like being locked down behind that wall for so long, you know, missing your family and what it's like to finally just touch the ground and be back out in the real world. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? It was hectic, you know what I'm saying? You had days, you were bitter days, you was happy, days you were sad, like an emotional roller coaster, you know what I'm saying? And being back out with my family, I could get stable again, you know what I'm saying? Being around my fiance, you know, being able to talk to my son and, you know what I'm saying, talk to my mom every day and, you know what I'm saying, just family, man. The people I know that love me, it feel good, you know what I'm saying? I don't got to sleep with that one eye open no more. I feel you, man. Um, while you was locked up, you know what I'm saying, was there any, any people in the entertainment business, especially from the hip-hop angle of, of things, who tried to reach out to you, you know, trying to keep your spirits up? And if so, can you name a couple of them? Uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of people, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, of course, you know, I talked with Wayne, talked with Baby, you know, BG, before he got locked up, free BG, you know what I'm saying, Juvenile, just a whole cat money. You know what I'm saying? Um, T.I., when he got out the first time, you know, we actually was at the same place. I was at Forest City where he left. He left like two days before I came. Um, Trader Truth, um, Waka Flocka, man, Rocco. Um, man, a whole bunch of people. Paul Wall. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that reached out to me, man. You know what I'm saying? That was good. All right, that's what it is, man. All right, well, now that you're back on the streets, man, what are you working on? Like, can we expect some new projects coming from you music-wise? What you say, Big Bro? I said, um, now that you're back out on the streets, can we expect some new music from you music-wise, like mixtapes, EP, something like okay, that? Yeah, uh, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Me and Drummer Boy working on a mixtape, blaming it on the system, you know what I'm saying? I'll be out in December, and I'm working on, you know what I'm saying? I got my book. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm negotiating deals right now. The auto thug, I feel turked about my life. I got the screenplay records about my life, which is a biopic. And I got the double CD, the audio thug, I can feel too. You know what I'm saying? Just get it in, man. You know what I'm talking about? All right, that's what it is, man. Um, Before you got locked up, you know what I'm saying, that was way before the social media and, and some of the Twitters and the Facebooks that you see right now that are so prevalent in the music industry. Since you've been out, how hard has it been to navigate the whole new online movement that we got now? Oh, man, it didn't got easy. I didn't learn how to swipe and everything. Hear me, so it don't take me long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's what it is. I know you dropped a freestyle today to that No Worries, man. How did you feel to get that, um, the, the response? What was the response like as far as, you know, from the freestyle? Oh, the response was crazy. I just sent it out last night just playing, you know. I really sent it out on my Twitter, man. It wound up being everywhere, you know what I'm saying? So it just let me know, man, that the people still got love for Turk and let me know that what's the way I'm going is the right way, you know what I'm saying? So I'm about to turn up and just give to them like they want it. They want that old thing back. You hear me? They young and thug and shit. That's what it is, man. Um, looking back on, on, on why you got locked up, do you have any animosity in your heart for the police for the police force um, in, in, in Tennessee uh, for what yeah, happened? You know, that chapter in my life is over, you know what I'm saying? It's a chapter in my book. You know, it, 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 it's just how I felt at that time, you know what I'm saying? When you read my book, you want to see how I felt. But as of right now, man, I'm enjoying life, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to get married and everything. So, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, man. I ain't tripping here. I'm highly favored by God. You know what I'm saying? I'm back on top of my game. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, putting, I'm about to put it down. You heard me. All right, congratulations again on the marriage, man. Um, what's it like as far as, um, like, what words can you give to anybody right now as far as the young kids out here who are out here young and thugging and, you know what I'm saying, on their way to jail probably, man? What words will you give to them as far as advice to not take that same track? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, you, you got to, you got to take the bitter with the sweet, you know what I'm saying? I got to just give to them raw and uncut. You know, if you out there living that life, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you already know if, if you do this, this going to happen, you know what I'm saying? And if you're able to accept what come with it, you know what I'm saying, do your thing. I ain't going to stop you because I respect the hustle, you know what I'm saying? But for the ones that just caught up and want to get out, you know, it's a way out, you know what I'm saying? You got to think. Anything you put your mind to, you can do it. got to make the right choices because there's consequences to all your actions, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you got to take hardship, use God, gift in spite of negativity. That's thugging. That's the acronym for thugging, you know what I'm talking about? So if y'all want thug, y'all want to keep it thugging, that's what y'all do. And watch it, watch it happen like you want it to happen, you hear me? That's what it is, man. All right, all right, homie, break some news for us, man. I know you said you got a couple of labels talking to you as far as music-wise. Who are you leaning towards personally? Man, I'm just going to put it like this. LeBron James went to Miami, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and he went on a winning team. I'm going with a winning that year.
Alright, that's what it is, man. Uh, hey, are you still doing work with um with, with Kino, the producer Kino? Yeah, I fuck with Kino, you know what I'm saying, man. Him he just sent me a flock of tracks. You know, he gonna be doing a couple of productions on the on the blame it on the system mixtape. You know, we talk every day, so it's all good, man. You know, I I just fuck with the industry, all real niggas, you heard me. Got you, got you. I know Kino's done some work for Kanye. What's the chance we might see you over at good music? Oh uh, man, like I said, I'm going with it winning that, man, you know what I'm saying? I mean it don't take a rocket science to figure it out. All right, that's what it is, man. All right, man, um, appreciate your time, man. That's all the questions I need right there, bro. All right, I appreciate the love, man. Y'all follow me on Twitter at Turk, Mr. Y&T. Y'all get me on Instagram at Turk underscore Imani, E-M-A-N-I. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep it thugging. Ten times a hundred. Let's get it. One hundred. Appreciate you, man. All right, homie.